what is a philosophy? I think the philosophy is one where we, we use terms like designing from first principles. And really what we mean by that is looking at the hard facts of what is the site, what is the budget, what are the kind of real constraints, get to the essence of what the project is really about because every project has a different context, either environmentally, in terms of context, time, you know, different clients. So you got to look at those things really critically and come up with the ideal solution. And I guess the element that we develop and use that kind of informs and structures the design process uh, would be something like uh, structural legibility, you know, environmental systems legibility, high performance design. Uh, we use things like building information modeling to inform our design and make sure that it's, you know, optimized. The campus has obviously some ambitions to do, you know, transformational development is one of the terms that's being used. So basically there's some ambitions to really kind of revamp new life in some of these buildings like Rogers Hall, for example, where, you know, some of the corridors, you walk down them, they don't necessarily kind of emanate the, the kind of essence of what the school really wants to be. So Project 2010 is really an attempt at looking at, in the short term, what can we do on the campus that will have a huge impact to the student community and the general audience at large. In other words, when people come into the campus, they have to go inside, but once they're inside, this will be one of the main kind of first impressions because it's the main ground floor, cafeteria, elevator lobby. That's the area that we chose to focus on. We're looking to remove the ceiling in the corridor, just take the ceiling right out, expose the services, um, and basically allow a continuity a visual continuity with what's happening in the um, cafeteria right now. So in the cafeteria right now, there is no drop ceiling. You see the beams, you see the ducts. The corridor itself, we've divided in two zones. Uh, one area is what we call the focal wall, which we are proposing to reclad into a really high quality, rich material, um, currently essentially glass, very vibrant color. Uh, basically cleaning up what the corridor is right now, which has a series of electrical conduits, plumbing, um, you know, signage, all those kinds of things, we're hoping to kind of clean that up, make it all very modern. The other side of the corridor we're looking at is what we're calling the media center. And for the media center there, we're going to have uh, projection screens on either side. And in the middle, we have a series of uh, television screens similar to what we have now, but you see now in the corridor, but larger. And some of the lower screens that we're proposing will be um, interactive, so you'll be able to, you know, essentially query it, um, perhaps even have some, what we're looking at is a virtual pin board. So perhaps instead of having a physical pin board, you know, one of them actually could be t completely digital. Our original assessment from the corridor, uh, you know, the, the ceiling right now is painted a dark gray, uh, which actually absorbs the light. So basically the light comes in through the windows that you have that are facing east, bounces off the floor and goes into the ceiling, gets absorbed. So one of the first things that we looked at was, well, just changing the ceiling paint from gray to white would actually provide a huge amount of energy saving, uh, not just to mention also a brighter feeling in the space, so it wouldn't feel so dark. Uh, the light fixtures we're proposing are also going to be much higher up into the ceiling, um, and they're also going to be more directional, as in throwing the light on the floor as opposed to just in all directions and into the ceiling. The next steps that we're looking at for um, the campus and is really still focusing on Rogers Hall, uh, but really kind of looking at the interface between the building and the plaza.